This is Monster Hunter World, trademark, of Capcom Corporation Limited, all rights reserved, beta, subtitle, press any button. No, that's not part of the name of the game. Monster Hunter World. I'm a big fan of Monster Hunter, okay? You know you know this about me. Maybe you don't. Now you do. Uh, I like Monster Hunter. Uh, I'm a big fan of it in the way that I'm a big fan of a lot of things in that I'm very enthusiastic about it, and I know the gist about like in the same way that i'm like a fan of like warcraft like i've played a lot of it but i'm not you're gonna see that i'm not like an expert at all the d little detailed mechanical things i love it as a property uh so i have been very hype about this game coming out for a long time and i'm really excited to jump in and play it uh and i want to talk about the title screen because i fucking love title screens i love them i love title screens so this is the first this is the first thing that we get to see on monster hunter world now it's the beta so keep in mind that this might be a different title screen from the final version and that's what's so exciting about betas is that if you love something it might get taken away from uh no it's the other way around it's if you if you don't like something about the beta then maybe it will go away and i i would love to begin with something that i don't like about this title screen and that is the word beta now i'm not mad that it's there that's fine it's totally fine but okay so if you've ever played a, a japanese video game that has been translated into english you have seen that font before am, am i right am i am i not right about this so i don't know someone is going to point out to me that it's like times new roman or some shit but that's a very familiar looking font and it, it feels to me like it's the default font that japanese gets translated into or that japanese developers use when they just want to throw an english word on a screen like i have seen that font so many times and it, it really like does not fit with the rest of the screen you notice that like it really stands out as being this generic microsoft word font everything else is great uh but that that word is just like there's something about it that's just like jabbing into my eyeballs anyway so uh key things to to draw your attention the very very first thing that i noticed on this screen the the absolute first thing that that pulled my eyes to it is the green gemstone in the middle of that crest just like yanks me right to it the absolute first thing that that, that i saw um so i i immediately was gravitated to that both because it's the only thing on the screen that's that bright right we get like a little bit of that if you look down to the bottom right of the screen, uh, some of the leaves that are bright down there, but the that bright green right in the center, and it's in the center of the eye line of the screen. It's not in the exact middle of the screen. It's at the sort of upper middle, uh, which is where your your eyes kind of sit if you have your monitor situated. And looking at it, I actually can I realize my monitor is a little low. I need to I need to move it up. But anyway, um, so that that immediately pulls it, and then. Unlike getting the sort of left to right read, which is interesting because you remember we talked about this a bit on RimWorld, um, Western audiences, which is say English speaking audiences and Spanish and French and German and most Romance language speakers uh, read left to right, top to bottom. Uh, now, this is a, a worldwide beta release of a Japanese game. So middle cent like centering all the text makes a lot more sense because you don't have to get flow. You don't have to get text flow, right? Which again, re is why they, they pull us right to the middle of the screen because it's more about the title as a logo than it is about it as text. Um, so the the crest, right? The, the two monsters facing each other over the green object, which because the crest looks like embossed, it has a texture, um, it, it makes me think of a shield or uh, of like a physical object, right? That that green thing to me reads as like a gemstone rather than a reflection or a light bulb or whatever. It gives it this kind of um, textured look. I really quite like the texture on the on the crest. Um, the monster hunter text is is fine. Like it's it's I, I like the 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 hook on the N and the S. The little the sharp serifs. I quite like that. Um, Nothing about the Monster Hunter text really jumps out to me except the fact that, again, it's going for a physical representation in that it's clean at the top and dirty at the bottom, which reflects the background really nicely because we have the whiteness of the sky grading down, grading down into darkness at the bottom, 
right? So it reflects the the color of the of the background, kind of gives us uh, that uh, that context, which is quite cool. Um, the text below that sucks. Uh, my my, in my opinion, um, the W is kind of interesting, but the word world, I don't like how it's spread out like that. I don't like the the font choice. The TM just wrecks it for me. Like the TM and the Capcom company text at the bottom both really throw me off. I don't know what legal requirements to maintain your copyright you have, Capcom. Uh, I, I suppose that's fine for you to have to do that, but it is a shame. Um, I do like the little swoosh, right? The little the little bit of movement uh, that is amplified by the, the particle effects underneath world. That part is nice. Um, the uh, the way that those three lines swish, it gives me a, a sense of like grass blowing in the wind. Uh, there's a very, again, very planty kind of feel to this whole thing, obviously because of all the background stuff, but it's reinforced that the only color they use is green. Um, and I, I quite I quite like that. It's a good, uh, it's a good, palette i think and and reminds me a lot actually of last of us right last of us was a very very green title screen and a green game the game was incredibly green right um this to me says jungle it says not only jungle but it says sort of primeval jungle i think the big ferns do that there's something in my mind and i don't know if this is true of everybody there's something in my mind about that st style of fern that really says like dinosaurs to me. This gives me a, and it's it's not even the creatures. We'll get to the creatures specifically, but there's a there's a very um, a primordial feel to this, uh, which which I think is is cool. And it's the very sort of first illustration of it uh, forefront is that that green that leads us into the image and uh, and carries that forward. Um, we talked about beta. I don't like that. Um, I really like that the glowing press any button is in a proprietary Capcom font. Like, it, it is, isn't it? Like, I've seen that in a Resident Evil game before. That, that pulsing press any button, I know you, I know you font, I've seen you before. Um, it's fine. It's it. It doesn't really say anything, but it it feels to me like it's part of a stable of fonts that Capcom has used before, which is like not a bad thing. It's just, uh, it's it's interesting to to notice. Um, the rest of the title screen, uh, you will notice, contains very 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 little, which is to say, uh, no no hunters at all. And I'm I'm hoping these aren't the monsters we're going to hunt, and it's it's cool because I don't think that a title screen needs to contain the whole game. I think that it needs to insinuate something into your head about the beginning of the game. I want to point out a couple of of neat things I like about the background of the title screen. I like that it's predominantly um, it, it feels like an animated GIF, like it's it's gently animated. There's not a lot going on, which is nice. We we don't want to focus on the background. I think the lighting is really good. We have this layered lighting that implies that we are in a separated place from the world, right? We're kind of hidden behind this log. We're in the shadows and the world lightens up ahead of us. There's some very clear forward pathing, right? We're, we're in this valley and there's really only one place to go from here, which is forward down the middle of the screen, which is really nice. The, the crest of the hill meshes nicely with the top, bringing the eye down to uh, Monster Hunter. And I love that leafy plant sticking out right behind the crest. Normally that kind of compositional tangent stuff you want to avoid. You don't want to have things popping out of title screens. You don't have stuff uh, dividing in, a, in an awkward way, you know, lines coming out of people's heads when you compose a shot. But I really like this because I think that it illustrates the, the, uh, the foreground nicely. So the screen implies to us a kind of loneliness, a kind of hiddenness. Uh, monsters are not so prevalent that they're going to give us a title screen with like a Rathalos fighting two more Rathaloses. You know, there's a bunch of, uh, there's a bunch of applied stuff going on here. And I love the um, the spore effect, the little light motes, the, the dust floating in the bottom left, kind of floating across the middle of the screen, that's carrying a sense of narrative. You can feel the wind, again, that kind of blowing breeze, the vegetation shuffling that was reinforced initially in the, the green lines under underworld. Let's talk about the little creatures, all right? Let's talk about these, because I think 
if you took those out, this could very easily be a game about like going on a jungle safari set in the modern world, right? If we didn't have the little creature in the bottom, the little dog catfish thing, if we didn't have the, the little guy over there, if we didn't have lizard boy up here, we might not know. Like this could be about hunting uh, monsters in a metaphorical sense and we could be going after like lions or whatever, right? What this does is it sets us up to expect unusual creatures. And I think that it reinforces that sort of prehistoric vibe, right? Like that thing, whatever that little fucker is, that thing looks like a fish that has just evolved legs. And we've got our little dinosaur bird up there. The, the gecko is, I mean, that's just a regular old gecko, but it's pretty cute. So adding fauna to the flora, uh, I think does help cement the location that the game takes place in. Um, the music is quiet and relatively simple. Uh, it's not uh, it's not in your face. It doesn't say action game, which is great because when you actually get into the game, uh, I, I know this from gameplay, the gameplay is actually quite fraught. Like it's it's quite intense. Uh, and so it's it's a neat juxtaposition. I like title screens that set you up in one way and then let the game twist or change your expectations uh, once you get into it. Uh, let's take another look at the, let's, let's press any button and see what the other menus look like. So a change in the structure of the screen, they give us the, uh, the menu along the left hand side. Continuing with the, uh, continuing with the motes, the little floating bits of light or dust, uh, you can see that the, the selector leaves a little trail behind. I think that's quite nice. Um, our options uh, for the game uh, are single player, multiplayer, which clear title screen options, training area, so like a tutorial. Uh, nice that they've, interesting, not necessarily nice. I guess we'd have to see the difficulty of the game, but interesting that they put training area here instead of as an option at the beginning of single player. Uh, I'm, always, I'm always interested in the selection where you put the tutorial in a game and whether it's allowed to be something that you choose when you play or whether it's foisted on you at the beginning of single player. Um, I think more choices are usually better. Um, PlayStation Store, why would I go here? I'm not really sure. Like putting the store, PlayStation TM store with no space uh, seems strange to me. Like, I don't know what to what I'm buying. Why would I click this? Uh, options and then license again license feels like a reason to why they put TM on the screen I don't but it is it is again in that sort of generic menu font um, the font color and choice does nothing for me um, this is where it starts to feel like a video game that that kind of video gamey font choice the highlighting and then this sort of weird star with a line through it giving us the top down feel right because it's heavy at the top and lightens at the bottom so it leads us from top to bottom so we read the menu in the correct order um, I'm really curious about this menu changing when we come back to the full, the full game. Uh, it's my, it's my mind, it's in my mind that, that the menu should be listed in, in terms of most relevant to least relevant, which makes sense here. I think that license is the least relevant thing. I would probably swap the store and the options, but it's, it's likely not a final, a final screen. Um... Yeah, I'm not I'm not great on the UI. Like I would give the UI like a like a six or whatever. It's it's fine. It's passable. It's it's nothing it doesn't blow my mind. Um But the background is quite nice. I think that's that's quite well done. Um I'm not sure I, I would love to, to go back and compare it to other Monster Hunter. Um I'm not sure what's worldly about it, except that maybe it presents us with a kind of ecosystem right it isn't just the monster it's a world in which you will be hunting monsters so yeah i, I mean it's it's good it's a it's a, a fine title screen i think it does some cool things um i like some of the visuals i think some of the corp stuff the capcom and the tms have take away from it i think the beta that'll go away so that'll be nice um but yeah, it's 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 in the same family as Last of Us. I think it implies more than it says, uh, and I think that if you do that right, um, that's really that's really interesting. So let's take a look 
at Monster Hunter World. And I'm gonna skip the I'm gonna skip the training area and we're just gonna jump right into the single player. 